Shadow Star here on Marksman72 from my PlayStation ND, and welcome to the next video for my Let's Play series for Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, starting off with Crash Bandicoot 1. And in this video, I'm going to be taking on a couple of very evil levels, starting off with everybody's favorite, the High Road. Oh boy, this has been the bane of many rage moments for me whenever I played this game. Now let's see if I can get through this without too much <coughs> rage moments. And, oh, it's starting already. <laughs> oh boy, so much wampa fruit. But at least I've regained the life. Careful. Like in the Road to Nowhere level, this was a high al level at high altitude. <coughs> oh, I've got to make sure when traversing this level that if I do come across some, you know, darker planks of wood, I got to make sure I stay on the ones that are actually whole, like the ones just up there. They will stay up for a little bit, but they will fall down, if that makes sense. But if I come across any broken ones, I got to avoid them completely. Like so. And of course, if you're new to the channel, and you're, I hereby welcome you. And if you like what you see, feel free to hit the like button, the thumbs up icon down below. Along with leaving a comment. I always look forward to hearing what everybody thinks. And if you want to be, not, and if you want to be notified for future content, hit the subscribe button. Along with the bell to receive notifications for when new videos have been released onto the channel. And if you're new and if you're a returning subscriber, you're an awesome individual, and I look forward to hearing what you think of the current video. And of course, if you want to check out any other, oh, come on, what? And starting off, ready. And before my couple of small moments of rage. If you want to check out any other videos from my Let's Play series for Crash Bandicoot, I will leave both playlists playlist links in the video description down below. One playlist for Crash Bandicoot and the other one for the entirety of the Insane Trilogy. Why did I walk into that turtle? Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait until the turtle gets back over and then jump on him again when he's closer to the gap. That way I'll have a better chance of getting over there without dying and me getting more enraged. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm f yeah, totally calm, totally calm. No, totally calm, then I can complete this level. <laughs> oh boy, it's starting already. Going insane. Oh, that was close. If I can get to that checkpoint. Okay, that's good. Oh, another high altitude hog. Unfortunately, you can't do anything to take to defeat him. That was my own fault then. That was a stupid mistake. Didn't time that brilliantly. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was another stupid mistake. Mistimed that badly. Let's try this again. And hopefully I don't make any stupid mistakes. Yeah, those broken planks are worth trying to avoid them as best you can. Because they are not they are not stable and they will fall apart before you even touch them. As demonstrated. Okay, just gotta... Oh, I thought I was not gonna make that then. Yeah, if anybody didn't see just then, there's actually a another box on top of the pile of three that's to, to the left. And what I'm trying to do right now is just jump on the turtle 
get on top of this pile and then get to the box like so because I guarantee anybody who does not like this level like so does not want to come back and do all this again to get all the boxes to get all, to get the clear gem at the end of the level And I do hope that little hint helps everybody out who does decide to try and go for the 100% throughout Crash Bandicoot 1. Okay then, so that's all three face tokens. Time to go for the bonus level. Yeah, to beat this bonus level. Take care of the top row first, then go to the bottom, like, like I'm doing right now. Doesn't have to be exactly like me, but you get the idea. Okay then, so all 27 boxes come collected from the bonus level, and back up to 99 lives. Hooray! Just playing it safe, don't want to get too overconfident. Oh. Fell short right at the end. That's the worst. Let's see if I can get it done this time. Yes. And there's the clear gem. Boom shakalaka. Boom. Yeah, I'm not touching that gem. Okay then, so with that done, time to move on to the next level, which is the Slippery Climb. And we're moving on to Color Gem number 5. Actually, no, Color Gem number 4, my mistake. Also, I should mention, when the Insane Trilogy came out, I'm not sure if this is entirely accurate. But the Insane Trilogy also came with a DLC package for Crash Bandicoot 1, which included a very difficult level that was taken out in the PS1 version, which is now being re-added into the Insane Trilogy, called Stormy Ascent. And if anybody is wondering what exactly Stormy Ascent is like, consider the Slippery Climb, what I'm doing right now, a slight preview to said level but consider stormy ascent a much uh, larger engine of rage for the player much more than the high road in my opinion but i will say this my the number amount of off camera tries i perform for this level trying to get to the end to get the red gem uh, was in the double digits. Not high double digits, but I'd say low double digits. Um, call it 10. Because this level was very annoying to get past. Because you got to time all the platforms right, get all the jump, all the jumps right, you got to get, you know, the gaps right. You got to wait for the platforms and get yourself lined up properly. Oh, it's an absolute nightmare. But I'm really glad of one thing. The Stormy Ascent level does not have any colored gems to collect. Otherwise, it, it would have been impossible to complete. And just for everybody's curiosity, I will be releasing a Stormy Ascent level or stormy ascent level video as well in my crash bandicoot series also i do want to apologize if i'm stuttering or hesitating with any of my sentences being an autistic individual talking is not one of my strongest points but i do try anyway and if i do st stay quiet during certain sections of the video i do want to give everybody a chance to see the or hear the dialogue that takes place uh, during certain some or during the cutscenes 
And if it's during certain gameplay sections, it's because I'm trying to stay focused and in the zone. And believe me, this one, I definitely want to stay in the zone. Because one mistake, and that is it. Can't get the red gym. I will also be releasing a separate color gem video where I demonstrate on how to achieve all the color gems throughout Crash Bandicoot 1. All six of them. The green, bl the green, orange, blue, red, yellow, and purple. And I will be doing that as well for the next two Crash Bandicoot games as well. I thought I was not going to make that jump. But let me say this. The amount of off-camera tries I've had, I've had completed in this bonus level. Oh my lord. It's oh, frustrating. It's because uh, when I was on top of the on the top row of boxes trying to get over onto that solo TNT box I've all I've always fell short and fell through the gap I mean ugh, it's really annoying to get oh I thought I was gonna jump straight down then okay so I got four more boxes to get to 100% this level and get the red gem Voila! Red, the red gem has been achieved. So that is it for the slippery climb level. And that is color gem number four out of six. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. And when I return, I'm going to be starting off with the lights out level. So until next time, everybody. I've been Shadowstar or Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.